since the dawn of our civilization, all, um, all the way to the, 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 the time of this breaking news, we humans believed that everything that exists up there is only what we can see with our eyes and with our optical instruments. Well, things have changed now because we have established the existence of entities existing in our terrestrial environment. And these entities are completely invisible to our eyes as well as to our optical instruments, but are fully visible with new instruments, therefore dramatically enlarging our conception of the perceivable universe with um, the far-reaching possibility of future development and discoveries that perhaps are beyond our imagination at this time. The Revolutionary Santilli Telescope is designed to detect antimatter in deep space. By antimatter, we mean an entity with characteristics that are the exact opposite of ordinary matter, including the index of refraction of light, which is opposite. As you can see in the diagram, we have two telescopes, the Santilli and the Galileo. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that the only real difference between the two is the lens. Notice that the Galileo uses a convex lens, whereas the Santilli telescope uses a concave lens. Now, when ordinary light passes through the uh, Galileo telescope with the convex lens, that lens focuses the light and can be recorded or the image recorded by a digital camera. Should antimatter light pass through the convex lens, it would merely be dispersed along the walls of the telescope and not be focused at all. Now, the exact opposite happens with the Santilli telescope. When antimatter light passes through the concave lens, it is then focused and provides an image that can be recorded by a digital camera. Ordinary light would be dispersed among the walls of the telescope. Galileo originally conceived and constructed his telescope for discovery in deep space. But as we all know, um, Galileo telescope is today used for all sorts of uh, terrestrial view. Our telescope had essentially the same fate because it was originally conceived for the detection of antimatter galaxy way deep into space. However, to our great surprise, we discovered that our um, telescope can equally detect entities in our terrestrial environment that are completely invisible to our eyes, to our binoculars or to Galileo telescope, but they are fully visible in cameras attached to our telescope, for which reason we call them invisible terrestrial entities, ITE. We have detected at least two types of ITE. The first type, also called dark ITE, essentially consists of um, entities leaving a dark image in the background of digital cameras attached to our new telescope. And the second type, called bright IT, essentially consists of entities leaving this time a bright image in the background of a um, of digital camera attached to our telescope, often visible without any enlargement. Our discoveries of in invisible terrestrial entities has been independently verified by um, American astronomers, also according to publications available in the internet. I am a scientist, formerly from MIT, Harvard, and other leading institutions around the world. As such, my duty is that of documenting the existence, quote-unquote, of those entities. The question of what those entities are must be answered by our government, because those entities appear to conduct unauthorized surveillance of rather sensitive civilian, industrial, and military installations. What we have learned is that reality is much bigger than we originally supposed. Reality consists not only of things that we can see and observe with our eyes and ordinary telescopes, but things that we can't see with our 